Ken paid $40.30 at the store. He gave four equal bills and six equal coins to the cashier. What were the bills and coins? All right, so that's the problem. Feel free to use a calculator. And if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. And then, of course, I'm going to go through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Anytime we're dealing with a money problem, we need to understand uh, the different terminology that goes along with it, right? So Ken paid this amount of money, and the question's asking about bills and coins. So uh, anytime you're dealing with a math word problem, by the way, you always want to use the rule of three, which is to read the problem at least three times so you can fully understand what's going on and understand the question. But we won't be able to understand this question unless we're clear about bills and coins. Now, of course, we are talking about currency in the United States, dollar bills, but hopefully most people are uh, familiar with it. But let's just quickly review uh, our options here that Ken could have paid with, right? So he's um, paying with bills and coins. So just a quick review. Most people probably know this, but if you're not familiar with U.S. currency and you're watching this video from someplace else, let me go ahead and just show you some of the options that Ken could have paid with. All right, so a bill is a piece of paper like so. That's a, uh, really, maybe I could do a little bit better than that. And in the United States, uh, we usually have like a picture of a president. And so uh, this is a bill. So we have a $1 bill. We have other bills, but these are the most common. So we have a $1 bill, uh, which of course is a dollar. Then you have a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, $50 bill, $100 bill. And there are other bills as well, but these are the most common. All right, how about coins? Well, a coin obviously is a round thing with uh, silver or whatever the case is, nickel. Now, um, coins uh, can, in the United States, can be one cent, okay, which of course would be a penny. And then we have five cents, which is a nickel. Then we have a dime, okay, which is of course 10 cents. And then 25 cents is a quarter. Okay, so these are pretty much the options that we have or uh, Ken has uh, to pay this $40.30. So the question is, again, he uh, gave the cashier four equal bills, okay? So in other words, he didn't give uh, like a $20 and then uh, some $5 and then some $1 bills, four equal bills and six equal coins. Okay, so hopefully most of you are saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is really, really easy, but uh, let's go ahead and proceed just in case some of you out there are a little bit confused. Okay, so here is the problem again. And now that we're uh, clear about the question and what bills are and what coins are, what we need to do is just kind of reason through, how can we figure this out? Well, this $40.30, okay, uh, we need to kind of break it up in its bills and coins apart, all right? So in other words, $40, this part right here is, this is how much he's gonna pay with the bills, okay? Now, anything under $1, Okay, is going to be after the decimal point. So in other words, let's suppose I have a dollar seventy-five. Okay, this is a one dollar bill. Okay, let's suppose you're going to pay with a dollar bill and coins. Okay, here this is your coins, right? This is your change. So you can't pay with a dollar bill. Now, of course, you could and you get change back, but the bottom line is this part right here is less than a dollar. So we use coins to pay for values uh, under a dollar. Now, obviously, again, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I could still pay with a dollar. Yes, yes, but you'll get back change. That's what I am trying to uh, state here, and hopefully I'm not confusing anybody. All right, but uh, this $40.30, uh, the $40 is the part he will pay with the bills, and the 30 cents, okay, this right here, this is the change, right? So this would be the part he will pay with the coins. Okay, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the uh, $40 part of this, right? So if he paid with four equal bills, well, how do we figure this out? Pretty straightforward, right? Just take the $40 divided by four, and of course we end up with 10, so he paid with $10 bills, so that definitely makes sense. Okay, so uh, 
This is pretty much the, uh, the strategy in order to answer this next part. And here, uh, we're going to basically do the same thing, right? So we already figured out uh, this is the cash part, the bills, right? Or not, well, the whole thing is cash, but this is the amount we needed for our uh, bills. So we took the $40 and we divided by four, and that, of course, is 10. So uh, Ken needs um, 10, uh, $4, uh, he needs four $10 bills. So for this part, this is the change, okay? So we're gonna take the 30 cents and we're gonna take 0 .3, uh, 0.30 and divide it by six. Now, somebody could be like, oh, isn't that just 30 divided by six, that's five. And you could be thinking in those terms, but if you have your calculator, just take 0 .30 divided by six, you'll get 0 .05, which is the decimal value of a nickel. So he needs six nickels. Remember, he's using the same coin, okay? Where he's not using some dimes and some nickels. But uh, yes, indeed, this is not that difficult of a math problem for most of you. But you know what? If you didn't understand something here, that you should never feel bad about not understanding anything, okay? And that's, uh, you know, a good reminder uh, for those of you that still may be students, okay? There's that old adage, there's no such thing, uh, no, that's no such thing, <laughs> excuse me, as a dumb question. I'm a big believer in that. If you are a student, raise your hand, okay? Do, what you don't want to do is be like, hey, I think people are going to look at me if I ask this question. Now, if you don't want to ask a question in a class or something, then ask a question separately to your teacher. But teachers love it when people ask questions, even if they're basic questions, okay? So never feel that, you know, uh, you're the only one who doesn't know an answer. I can tell you, I can tell you right now from teaching many, many years that if you don't understand something and you think it's a, like a dumb question, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm the only person that doesn't understand that. I can tell you probably a third or half the classroom doesn't understand as well. Okay. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.